Hello everyone, once again my name is Ariel and what I want to kind of talk to you about today is some of the moves the Flyers have made so far during this offseason, kind of talk about some of the trades they've made but this video is mostly going to be focused on the kind of new contracts slash contract extensions that they've been able to get done. Uh, very briefly I'll go over a couple of the trades. They were able to trade Nicholas Grossman, a defenseman, over to the Arizona Coyotes for a draft pick along with Sam Gagne. Sam Gagne was kind of one of the players for the Coyotes that was rumored to be bought out. I mean, they're going to it's not really necessarily terminate his contract, just, you know, buy out his contract where they'd pay him for however many years, the money he owed, but he would be free to go somewhere else. But instead, he's traded over to the Flyers, and there was rumors that he would be bought out by the Flyers, but said the Flyers are going to keep him on and kind of see what he can, you know, kind of see what he can do this year. And along with that, the Flyers also made a trade with the Boston Bruins. They sent Zach Ronaldo over there for a draft pick, kind of one of the players that wasn't really working here in Philadelphia, kind of, in my opinion, you know, wasn't really, you know, a good fit for this team. But other than that, the Flyers, we have had a couple contract extensions, uh, as long as a re-signing for this player. That is Michael Delzato. He signed for two years, about $3.75 million. He had been coming off, you know, that one-year deal with Philadelphia, where he'd previously been with uh, the New York Rangers and the Nashville Predators, and it kind of been seeing his career kind of take a downfall. You know, wasn't sure where he was going to end up last season, but the Flyers took a chance on him with that one-year deal, and it proved to be, you know, a pretty good risk. It was kind of a low-risk, high-reward kind of deal. So they get him back for two more years, and they also got a six-year extension for this guy. And an eight-year extension for this one. So overall, I'm very excited what the Flyers have been able to, you know, accomplish so far this offseason. They, you know, re-signed, you know, Michael Delzato, as I said, and they got two big extensions for some of their big players, Jakob Voracek, kind of now making the same kind of money as Claude Giroux, and kind of re kind of um, getting another extension long-term for Sean Couturier, one of the young guys. You know, that's still got something to prove, but the Flyers showing uh, faith in him by giving him that six-year extension. The Flyers have made some other moves, kind of re kind of signed some guys mostly for AHL depth, and they found a backup goalie for C. Mason and Michael Neuvert. But overall, it's been pretty good so far, and I'm excited to see what Ron Hextall, you know, has left up his sleeve, if he has anything left. Still a bit of cap trouble for the Flyers, but we'll see what is done in the next upcoming, you know, weeks or so, as we are getting very close to hockey season. You know, about a month or two before... We got preseason before we get, you know, training camp and all that underway. But that's going to be about it for me today. Just kind of wanted to go over the off-season moves for the Flyers. But I'll be back again next time, you know, to talk about maybe the Flyers, if something happens in the NHL, and you know, kind of anything that happens. Kind of take this, you know, day by day, week by week, see what news pops up. So I'll see you again. Not too sure I want to end my videos. I know last one I ended with Catch You on the Flip Side. I'm pretty sure, but I don't really want that to be the ending. So for right now, I'm going to just kind of take it video by video and see what happens. So see you guys next time.